I love being part of this collaborative project that brings you know, the expertise of fishers and scientists together and works um, both to evaluate this management technique of closed areas, these rockfish conservation areas, but also works to, with, for the goal of sustainability of these, these fisheries. In the 1990s, the Department of Fish and Wildlife worked with the sport fishing industry to survey areas for almost 10 years off Central California. Now, 15 years later, uh, we've been working with the Department of Fish and Wildlife, the National Marine Fisheries Service, and volunteer anglers to resurvey the fishes in those same areas. What we found is that after 15 years, the numbers and sizes of fishes are much greater than they were in the late 1990s. That's great news for the health of the ocean and for fishers. Yeah, so many species of rockfish have life history traits that make them more susceptible to being overfished. Um, they're long-lived, they are late to mature, and have variable uh, reproductive success. And so in the 80s and 90s, uh, many species were in fact over, overfished. Um, both fishermen and scientists noticed this trend of uh, they're seeing smaller rockfish and just uh, less, they're less abundant. Uh, in, in these areas that they were fishing. And then by 2001, I think seven species of rockfish uh, had been declared overfished um, by, these, by federal uh, standards. And so then in 2002, these rockfish conservation areas were put into effect uh, to close down uh, large portions, uh, uh, large areas uh, along the whole uh, west coast to, to various kinds of fishing. Um, there's several different types of, uh, of closure areas. So this was, it was kind of a joint project. Um, it, it was a way to incorporate fishermen through these cooperative research grants to go out and collect this data. And it was another opportunity, besides looking at just catch rates and species composition and evaluating the RCA, it was a chance for us to go out and collect this reproductive data, which is really valuable. And it's really valuable for the management of the species. So seeing, you know, are these fish reproducing? How quickly do they reproduce? And also what that means for rebuilding for all these overfished species, so we can go out and collect data on how, you know, how they're reproducing and how quickly their populations may recover. So rockfish are really an interesting species. So they're live bearers, which is really unique among, among fish. So what they do is they actually, they have a mating season, they have internal fertilization, and they release live young, which is pretty amazing. And these fish can release, it depends on the species, but they can release anywhere from 10,000 young to over 2 million young. So it's pretty incredible. Involving the fishing community in data collection and management is really important for the success of fisheries management. So we've been working with volunteer anglers and the F California Department of Fish and Wildlife and National Marine Fisheries Service to resurvey areas that were surveyed in the 1990s. Those groups have all been really important uh, to our project. I've been a volunteer for two years and uh, with that I got to uh, go places where we are not supposed to go like uh, MPAs and RCAs. It's a lot of fun uh, being able to experience this and know more about our uh, conservation. I volunteer for the simple reason of um, gaining experience and also to help 
with the research that you guys are ongoing doing? I volunteer for a couple of reasons. Firstly, I love fishing. Two, I'm very interested in the catch in the different areas, especially in the MPAs. So I find it a, a great opportunity to be able to fish in the MPA and, and see you know, how the MPAs are actually doing, whether the quality or the, the catch you know, is improved over the non-protected areas. I mean, this project has been really valuable in collecting this data. Like, it's expensive to go out there and collect this data. It's tough to go out there and collect this data. You need, you need, you need the anglers who know where to find the fish and know how to catch the fish. And then you also need the scientists that can collect this data, that can analyze the data, that can really you know, track these populations. So I think that's really important, really a benefit of this project. This has been a fantastic project because it involves the fishery management agencies, fishing community, and academic scientists to resurvey areas that were looked at 15 years ago. It's really important to learn about the long-term changes in our environment because that's what really counts in the California current ecosystem is time. Things are constantly changing and you need that time to see how things are getting better or getting worse. And it's, it's a great opportunity. It's really fun to go out and see the changes that have occurred in the last 15 years.